hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is ife in this video i'll be teaching you how i draft the pattern for this dress if you want to see how i achieve making this please keep watching my videos and if you want to see more content on how to make some dresses for your kids please subscribe to my channel and see you guys in my tutorial okay here i've already um rolled out the shoulder line and then i also rolled from the side down so this is the pattern people i'll be working with so the next thing for me is to so i'm just trying to explain here that that is the shoulder line and that is the um there's another line by the side that i rolled i'm using it as a guide you know for the measurement that i'll be putting inputting here so the shoulder that i'll be working with is nine so nine divided by two is 4.5 so i've marked 4.5 down i'm in there on the shoulder line so i'm going to come down by two and a half inches that is the neckline i'll be working with two and a half inches so this dress is for um a four to five years old so yeah so the next thing here is to place my measuring tape there and mark the um, um i said i'm um, oh sorry <laughs> i marked the le um, neck line as well so i also i also marked from the shoulder line i marked down i marked two and a half inches as well so the next thing i did was to go down from that 4.5 that i marked i went down by one by half an inch for the shoulder slope right so i've already ruled out down so the next thing i'm going to do is to join the neckline together the 2.5 but um, horizontally and the 2.5 vertically that i marked for the neckline so the next thing i'm going to do here is to take my curve ruler and then link the make a curve and link the um two dots together as seen so that will be my neckline right so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark down 4.5 I divided my shoulder by two to get my arm o that's 4.5 inches that is what i marked there 4.5 from that slope i marked 4.5 down so if you want to get your arm o for um the kids the ones i use for kids measurements i divide my shoulder by two so i've already joined that line from the shoulder slope to the 4.5 and i made um a an hell shape to the side so the next thing is to draw my i mean to put my arm o so what i did was divide that 4.5 into two and i marked it down and i came in by quarter of an inch just for the curve so i'm just going to mark that down and then you can see the way i am placing my curve ruler just to link that dot all the way up right so after doing that next thing is for me to i will measure from the shoulder line no sorry i'm i'm measuring for from the side so for that side i'm measuring my chest measurement as the bust measurement divided by four so i'm going to put in my i'm going to mark that out then from that i'll add one inch sewing allowance the reason why i'm adding one inch sewing allowance is because the scuba that i'm using that i'll be using for this dress is scuba material so and it's kind of stretchy so i'm just going to use one inch as my sewing allowance so the next thing is for me to mark the length of the dress that i want so whatever wherever you want the length of your dress to reach to be just mark that down so i'm doing 23 so the next thing is for me to just adjust the uh, i'm trying to roll down that line all the way down because i think i didn't roll it all the way down so yeah so that's what i'm doing there so the next thing is to mark down the length of, like i said so i'm just going to slant my ruler like that so if you want it to extend if you want the a-line to be very wide just adjust your ruler and slant it so but i'm not making my own that wide yeah so so what i'm going to do here is to just mark it down but before that i'm trying to explain to you here how uh um, um before that i'm just trying to i measured the chest line so i just added i think three or four inches from that chest line that's the bust right the round bust so i added 
um, that's the round about divided by four please don't make a mistake you have to divide your chest by four so i'm just adding um three inch or four inches extra just to make my slants you can add as why any i don't know it depends on you though but don't make it too wide because it's just an a-line dress so i added to um three inches or i think four or three I, i'm not sure but i think it's three inches so i marked that down and i rolled my i joined the dots together to make a sl slant here yeah? so now i'm trying to cut out the neckline the shoulder line and i'm just cutting my, out my pattern from the um from the um yeah i'm just cutting out my pattern <laughs> sorry to make a video it's not, it's not easy right so um yeah so i'm just trying to cut it down so just cut down out your pattern please don't forget that um line that you ruled by the side just for a guide so i'm just going to cut that out because that is not part of the measurements right that is not part of the measurement because if you do it that way it's like you're making a dress that has buttons so it, it, we don't need that yeah so i'm just going to cut it out all the way up right so after doing that um the next thing i'm going to do there's this thing because the side is sharp i don't like from the arm also i don't want it to be sharp right so i'm just going to mark from that side that i placed my tape roll i'm just going to mark like half an inch up if you want to make it one you can make a one but half an inch is perfect right so i'm just going to mark that up then link it to the side and just make a curve a little curve right so that's the side of my dress i, I don't want to make it sharp when i'm making it so i'm just going to cut that out yeah so this is basically how i draft the basic um pattern for an hairline dress thank you guys for watching my video i hope to see you guys in my next video please subscribe to my channel once again and thank you for watching thank you bye